What happened in the most awkward date you've ever been on? The whole date beginning to end was terrible, but the most memorable moment is him saying. So I think it's best, if we have sex right away, to make sure we are Zuli compatible. Has that line ever worked for anyone? No. I may have commented on a girl's nose ring. She had a stud in her right nostril. Turns out it wasn't a stud. It was a mole, and she was very self-conscious about it. It was shiny, and looked like a semi-precious stone to me. In high school, I went on a date with a guy who insisted I share his bowl of soup instead of ordering my own food. It was this weird soup with various bits of unidentified seafood in it. This was a dinner and movie date. So we went to the theater afterward. He soon tried to make a smooth move and put his arm around me, but thought it was a great idea to basically put me in a chokehold. Another weird part was that he had knives hidden in his socks. I had a shits. I went into a MC Donald's and shat for 20 minutes. She fell asleep in the car. First date with a girl who had a barbell piercing on the back of her neck. I make my move and stretch my arm around her. My watch gets caught on her piercing and I can't separate them, resulting in a very bloody mess. Ended up dating for 2 years though, so not all that much harm was done. We talked about avocados for an hour, because we had nothing else in common. In 2009, I met this very interesting guy on a cupid. It was the first time I had ever met someone on a dating site, and he really did seem legit. I knew he liked cats, but I did not have a clue how much. We met at a Thai restaurant, and he started talking about his pet cats. That was cool. He then goes on to discuss how he wishes he could form a rock band with his cats, and that a cat band would be the best thing ever. I just kind of looked at him, nodded my head and kind of smiled, and went back to eating my noodles. There was a good 25 seconds of silence, and all of a sudden he meows at the table, in the restaurant. Just meowed, out of nowhere. I really didn't know how to respond, so I pretended I did not hear it. I attempted to kindly make conversation. He said some more things about his cats, and then I scurried on out. This happened. Weirdest creepiest thing ever. Met a guy for coffee. Out of nowhere he steered the conversation to a previous date he had where the woman unbuttoned his shirt, smeared something I can't remember onto his chest, and then they went back to his place to have amazing sex. Before I could say anything, he invited me back to his place. It was supposed to be a lunch date on St. Patrick's Day. She ended up turning it to a dinner date because she forgot her wallet at some guy's house and wanted drinks. I thought it was odd, but figured I would go with the flow. We met at the first place to just meet up with two of her friends a couple and grab a drink. Afterward we went to Buffalo Wild Wings for food. Her friends who left at the same time as us were 30 minutes late. We got along great and had a good time. Bill comes and I just assume I will be paying it. But her and her two friends decide a dine, and Dash is a great idea. We are all in our late 20s. A little old for dine and Dash as I would have liked to think. I end up apologizing to the waitress, and paying for everyone's food and drinks. She texted me later, that night wanting to know the next time I wanted to hang out. I never responded. Guessing that road would lead to unwanted drama. Went to the state fair with an online date. Seemed nice. As good looking in his photos as he was in person. And had a pretty great sense of humor. His best friend and the friend's girlfriend were there as well. Which I was cool with. Except that she was a racist and an idiot. Every time I would start to have fun getting to know my date. She would interject with some stupid bullshit. Akin is okay. Because he pretty much sounds white in this song. There are a lot. If Mexicans working here they couldn't get Americans to run the state fair. Gosh, oh, you can pet a baby tiger. I wonder if you can pet an African too. Haha, <laughs> there were more. I wouldn't have believed someone could be that dumb if I hadn't met her myself. We clashed at the end of the night over the idea that I don't like to be called bitch as a pet name. It was awkward. They drove me back to my car in complete silence. He messaged me on FB the next day saying she was his ex and just protective of him. Noped right out of a second date. 
It was my first date after my divorce. He used a fake British accent off and on with no consistency. He claimed Chuck Palahniuk was a fan of his writing. He said he Skyped with Nick Cage. Said he died three times in his life and came back and saw nothing but darkness, so he knew he was going to heck. Then, as if that's all not enough, just before I was about to duck off out of there, a woman called me on my phone to warn me to stay away from him because he'd break my heart. Cool. Fun date. I've posted this a few times, but it's still relevant so here you go. I'm in college, and I met a girl through Craigslist. I entered into everything suitably skeptically, but I was digging this girl she was 5 feet 11 I'm 6 feet 3, so that was awesome. Fit, dark hair, she eats meat, I find out on the first date that she likes bowling. I'm alright with this. Once I found out about the bowling thing, the second date was pretty much written. So it's Friday night I've made reservations at the local bowling alley which, kinda cool, had an episode of some MTV show being filmed there, and the place was packed. We start bowling, and she trounces me, I'm fine with that, the whole thing was automated. So all you need to do to start the next game is hit a button she does. I get better, but she still beats me like I stole something. Right around game 3, I began to notice a pattern she hits the next game button before I can get back from tossing my ball. I start to drop hints about dinner, but they have no effect she keeps starting new games. By game 5, I'm starting to feel the strain on my wallet, but I still kind of like this girl. So I don't want to say anything more overt than broader and broader hints. By game 7, I'm mad my hints will get no broader. So I decide I might as well try and win one of these games. Her score was pretty consistent at around 125 mine was steadily rising with each game. Hey, I never said either of us was any good. P by game 9. I've decided that I don't give two tugs how much this is going to cost me. I'm beating this jerk and then losing her number. Finally, finally, game 10. I finish with like two consecutive strikes after a solid game. Inching just past her steady 125. Before I can celebrate. She's got her ball packed up she brought her own and is ready to go home. Talking about how it's kinda late. WTF just happened. Was this like a level boss? I need to defeat her before I can proceed with the story. Fine. Whatever. I take her home. We hug. And I've never seen her since. Too long didn't read took a date bowling. She wouldn't stop playing until I beat her. My first date when I was 16. I went to pick up my crush and just as she opened the door, I sneezed. That sneeze made snot fly out my nose and the grossest nervous fart I could ever imagine. It was a sunny day. We went and sat in a park. She tried to give me a handy under my jeans. It was busy. We weren't anywhere secluded. And there were kids. For me. I went out with a girl. And she bit my lip. While we were kissing. And there was blood everywhere. It was all over both of us. When I was 13 I went on my first date. I was so nervous I didn't even look at my date the entire time. Didn't say a single word to her. Didn't put my arm around her at the movie. Nothing. I can let you guess how awkward it was the entire time. After the date I asked her on another one, and she said no. Unsurprisingly, awkward. But kinda cute. Did she talk? I was sort of on a double date with just three people. Took a girl out, and she brought her gay best friend. Totally flirted with both of them all night, so I take full responsibility, but end of the night I leaned in for a kiss the girl and the guy leaned in. Totally noped out of that situation and drove away. First date with a guy I met online through MySpace. He showed up at my door and was shorter than me, wore more makeup than me, and told me that he was taking me to a lunch car event. It turned out to be a Make-A-Wish event and his friend was dying of cancer. I spent the whole day surrounded by people I didn't know. Cars that were supposed to be fancy racing cars with fancy race car drivers which I know nothing about. And to top things off, the guy I was on a date with talked to his ex-girlfriend the whole time we were there. First date. I have a mole on my cheek. Which apparently had an ingrown hair. 
but you couldn't see the pimple, because of the mole itself. It itches for a second. So I absentmindedly scratch it. The girl I'm with suddenly goes pale and looks, like she's going to vomit. You're bleeding. You need to go to the bathroom. Now, I get to the bathroom, and I'm greeted with a small stream of blood leaking from my mole, and emerging from that, an inch long, scraggly beard hair, with a globule of bloody puss hanging on the end. Plucking the hair leads to more blood and puss, which at this point, has dripped all over my shirt. It took nearly 15, 20 minutes for the bleeding to stop, but much to my surprise, she was still there when I got back to the table. We dated for 2 years. Good sport that one. When I was 17, I took a girl I had known 4 years on a date. We went to a movie, then spent 2 hours walking through a park. We spoke effortless and generally had a great time. On the way home we hit a pothole and she peed in my car. Apparently she had been holding it the whole time we were at the park. I went on a date with a girl, and over the course of 16 hours she managed to get us thrown out of a comedy club for heckling the opening act, tried to give me a BJ in an elevator, with other people inside, fell down so many times between the elevator and the car random bystanders called an ambulance, passed out my backseat and threw up, couldn't tell me where she lived, so she crashed in my bed, while I took the couch cleaned my backseat. Her grandmother woke me up at 7am pounding on my door claiming I kidnapped her daughter and she was calling the police. No follow up date. When a girl is so drunk that random bystanders call an ambulance, you let the ambulance take her so you don't get rape charges. And how did grandma find out where you live? I once dated a guy who told me he was a brinny and spent almost the whole date explaining the series. No matter what subject I tried to bring up it would go back to cartoon horses. I shut him up finally and ended the date on talking about real horses in as much graphic detail as I could muster. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more of Reddit Universe.